Alright guys, this is part two to my Katerine video. I finally figured out what my password is. You know your girl got bad memory. But anyway, here, I'm going to cover up this part so you don't see my login information. But, it, if you click to go to the online exam practice and you choose the TMC, it will bring you to this page. And like I said, with those tokens... You need those tokens in order to do to order in order to work through those modules but I would recommend doing the free assessment test because I felt that, like that test was very similar to the formatting and the wording on the actual TMC exam and whatever information that I needed to cover that I didn't cover in class or that I just missed out on I wasn't getting showed up in those modules and those modules would have it where each section like these sections would be covered patient assessment airway care and so on each section so if you needed to review the patient assessment then it would have a big red showing that oh you didn't pass that but maybe I did well in therapeutic procedures it have green showing that okay that's the area I don't really need to cover so it kind of helped pinpoint where I was having issues at and I went through the categories where I was read at and went through and picked up on some information that I either missed out on in class I didn't cover well or I need just to review so that is helpful and it's also helpful to use those tokens and go through some of these uh, practice uh, assessments. But here, let me see. Ooh, I hate taking tests. So we'll, I'm just show you like two questions so you guys can see what it says. Let me see. All right, so do y'all see this? I'm just gonna click anything. I'm gonna show y'all five questions. Proceed. Just so that you guys can see uh, the formatting and the wording before you go out there and while you're choosing which resource you would like to use. Is it Kettering? Is it Lindsay Jones? Is it RT Board Review? You know, let's go through this together so you don't waste your time or your money. Or a great thing to do is if there's a group of you, let one of you buy Katarine, let the other one buy Lindsay Jones, and you guys just keep swapping. That's what me and my friends did. Okay. I'm just going to choose something. This is the third question get familiar do you see the formatting do you see how the question is worded exactly like the exam when I tell you this shit is exactly like the fucking exam I mean it even a damn calculator <laughs> All right. mm -hmm. Just clicking one. We're gonna go to question number four. Boom, 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 boom. I'm sorry, y'all. I have ADHD, so <laughs> I have to be doing something. And be quiet. Let you guys read this to get used to it. Just clicking something. All right. Here's the fifth one. Which one clicks? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna exit this. Because we already know I was just clicking some shit, so. Huh. 
but let me see if my old stuff is up there I can't hear the audio but let's see oh yeah okay so this is the module actually takes you to a spot where you kind of like break down the information um all right so let me go back to the account material let you guys see that so like us you have audio I have no use to my audio because I've already taken this and I've already used it but a great thing about the audio even with the Lindsay Jones if you have trouble just reading the material because it's boring I mean I won't lie it's boring <laughs> the thing you can do is listen to it because everyone learns different there's some people that can read and grasp the information as to others like myself who I might have to read and listen to it so like download the audio and listen to it in your car on the way to work uh, I was playing it while I was asleep that's how deep it was y'all I, I really wanted to pass that damn exam uh, let's see let's see but the audio is also broken down into those categories that I showed you earlier. Patient assessment, airway, care, therapeutic procedures, oxygen therapy. Yeah. And it's just reading word for word whatever's in your lecture book for Kettering. I mean, word for word. And the guy's very monotone. But he also give you great examples, great great tips on um, certain equations, how to um, how to come up with the result quicker. He also goes over tricks of how to remember certain uh, measurements for the hemodynamics. So you do get good stuff from there. You just actually have to listen. <laughs> catch it okay so let's go back to the account Doo -doo -doo. we already went through the practice exam oh no we didn't we went through the free practice exam now there's also two practice exams that you can use your tokens for or that comes with your um online home study you got the practice exam A and practice exam B uh let's see so you guys can see boom 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 we'll do five questions like we did before doom, doom, doom. Boom, 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 boom. we're just gonna click something this is just me allowing you guys to see the formatting to read the question to see how the answer is formatted this is exactly how your test is going to be All right, I'm just click something. Go to the next. I'm do five questions. Make sure you guys review um, the spirometry graph because I've heard tons of people, including myself, I can vouch and say there's at least like a good three or four questions on that test about that graph where you have to know about the TLC and um, the RV. All right, so that's the practice exam. Let's get out of there. And let's go back to the account manual. All right, so here's the Sims. Oh man, it's not going to let me go to the Sims Home Study. Okay, well the Sims Home Study is just like what we just did for the practice exam. Let's see. 
Oh. I'm not renewing. Why won't let me use my own tokens? <laughs> Oh, it says I have not completed this exam, so I can use. Oh, ain't that nice? Let's extend it. Okay, you yeah. have. Okay, all right. Well, that's cool to know. Uh, all right. So this is the Sims. So this is just so you guys can see. Let me try to move so you get the whole screen. All right, so we're just gonna click, and this is exactly like how it is whenever you're actually testing. I'm just clicking y'all to get through it. See, and whenever you test it, make sure you pay attention to the information that's over here because this is gonna give you the information about the patient whenever you do click. Um, your choices over here when it comes to assessment or therapy procedures so i don't know i didn't read the problem we're just gonna go all right so we're just gonna end problem yeah okay <laughs> Oh man, this is the one that actually goes through. Okay, well, yeah, so this is just like, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that so you could be familiar with it. Um, just like the real exam, you have 22. Alright, so we're not going to worry about that. As you can see, I didn't even use that. I, I used the RT board review for my clinical simulation exam. And I like the fact that Katerin likes you practice over and over and over to get familiar with the formatting. But the RT board review not only allowed me to get familiar with the formatting, but it explained why you choose certain therapeutic procedures, why you choose uh, certain assessments for uh, the different patients. So I will look into that. But if you're one of those people where Kettering just works for you, then all hell Kettering and continue on. Okay. And we did that, that. Here's online practice. Like I said, we already chose the teams. Here's the TMC online practice I showed you earlier. So I'm going to go back. And now here it is. The clinical simulation online practice and like I said I always take the free ones because they kind of help you figure out where you're falling short at like I said you'll always have your scenario up top see if you can read this and you'll always have your assessment information and remember do not click too many because you click too many and that will even take points away from you. And the great thing about Kettering, it does their three-day face-to-face course and their audio and book will take you through in the beginning and uh, help you understand how to go about choosing your answers for the clinical simulation because they want you to do it by a certain step as far as like what you can visually see first and then what you can measure and so on from there so you know we can visually see color we can't really see height and weight but you know it's a given when you first come in but i'm just going to click a bunch of stuff and see if we can get to the end because i want you guys to see the review Oh, no. oh, and that's another thing. <laughs> you click something wrong, it all, it will say physician disagrees and make another selection. And because I did not read this, I would not know what the answer is. Oh no, we might be here all day. Um, shit. Okay, go looking out. Uh, 
Oh no! Click. Okay. What else do I have to change? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. Okay. Just click and figure out which one is right. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get to the end of this. Click. Don't click anything. Ta da. Who cares? We're just getting to the end. Okay. I didn't read the scenario. Okay. And a problem. All right. So this is what I wanted to show you at the end. Your scoring it says you did not pass. You did not pass. Duh, we know that. So this is the total point selected. Mm hmm. Mount missing. But here is what I wanted you guys to see the review. So for the review, I. It's just letting you know that you're going to be graded on information gathering and also decision making. And just read it. So that's the type of analyst you're going to get from Kettering. Same thing. Here's decision making. This is for this question on the simulation. You see how, to me, I think the review is very simplistic. And, and I know for some people that works, but you can still be simple, but help the information connect better. Or maybe it's just me. Like the analyst, the history, clinical signs, and symptoms all indicate that the patient is suffering from an acute asthma attack. Like, I, I just felt like there could have been a better connection made here. Maybe they could have listed something from the previous response to help you kind of like put two and two together. Mm. But that's how they do it. See? I mean, that's what I felt like I got from Lizzie Jones. Where they they made the information kind of like connect better they help with the critical thinking process they found a way to help relate all the information link it together and then you have that light bulb moment where you're like aha i see what they're trying to tell me all right but yeah just wanted you guys to see that but yeah that's scattering for you so if it works for you great if it doesn't great <laughs> Because you know what you can do. There's so many study resources out there. You can definitely find another one. Um, I still have some of my information. I even have my e. I even have my um, manual that I turned into an ebook because it helped out having it as an ebook and clinical. So to always refer back to. And it's one thing that I actually keep in my respiratory bag um, going to work because sometimes you tend to forget some of this information if you haven't used it over time. So it's good to have something that you can always refer back to and then kind of like lays out the information in a more structured, organized way. And you can look in a glossary, find your topic review that topic really quick have it and then go on 
but as far as studying for the exam figure out what works for you guys let me know what you think um if you want me to log into my lindsey jones and do my review on lindsey jones snakes i can do that or we could do rt board review which i rave about all the time so let me know i'll be looking out for your comments bye